Okay, this is the last section, uh, section uh, 3.7, the spectrum of ENM waves. And uh, let's go over the slides here. Let's make sure, yeah, we're at the last uh, section, the spectrum of electromagnetic waves. Now, uh, <clears throat> there's, even though we have different names for, for these, if you go from top to bottom, gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet, visible light, infrared, microwaves, uh, TV, FM, AM, uh, and long wave. The, there's not really, there's not really a, a demarcation that, that, that um, where one changes type. I mean, it, they all just kind of run um, from one to the other, and we've just kind of named them in bands. Uh, the um, for convenience, and uh, one thing to note is that the notice that the frequency up at the top it's ten to the twenty two uh, hertz, uh, and down at the bottom it's ten to the three hertz, and it's in the kilohertz. And there's even there's some <coughs> VLF and EVLF, extremely very low uh, frequencies that are used in uh, navigation. Uh, that uh, um, just to be aware of that there are, I mean, the, the antennas for these, the antenna arrays for these are huge. Uh, they're uh, uh, kilometers long, just the antennas, and they, that's like a quarter wavelength of the antenna. Uh, but one thing, one other thing, so on the, 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 the left-hand axis, you have the frequency, uh, 10 to the 3 to 10 to 22. And as you go up in frequency, you go up in energy. And if you look on the right-hand side, the wavelength, uh, you go from very large uh, wavelengths, kilometers for the long wave, the kilometers up through uh, meters, uh, millimeters, micrometers, even picometers when you get into the gamma rays um so so um on one you have increasing uh on the left hand side you have increasing frequency on the right hand side you have decreasing wavelength so that they're, they're opposite one another <coughs> and uh again the energy increases as we uh go up in frequency and the you can see that there are about 10 to the 15 uh it's in the range of nanometers is where we have the visible light. Uh, the visible light spectrum spectrum is expanded to show details of colors. Uh, and you can see the, uh, in some publication, you're going to see angstroms. Uh, color, the violet would be 4,000 to 4,300 uh, angstroms. Uh, blue would be 4,300 to uh, 5,850. Uh, angstroms for blue and and so on. Uh, more typically, I, I think you're going to find nanometers, and uh, depending on what type of spectroscopist you are, you're going to talk about wave numbers. You're going to talk about nanometers. Uh, you know, some will talk about if you're a radio engineer, you talk about frequencies. Um, but let's uh, let's uh, go on. Uh, um, so there's, a, a, again, there's another little box. Uh, adjacent wave types exhibit some overlap of frequencies. So we'll start here with the, uh, the broadcast. Broadcast AM radio, uh, TV and FM uh, radio is the, uh, the first uh, that they, sh they show you. The wavelengths there are from, from 10 to the fourth meters to about 0.1 meters. Um, the, uh, <coughs> and they're generated by electronic devices, LC, you know, uh, inductor, capacitor, oscillators. Um, so those are the, the, uh, broadcast band. And then we go up into, the, um, the microwave band and the wavelengths are from 0.3 meters to, uh, 10 to the minus four meters. So, and 
generated by electronic devices. They're short wavelength, well suited for radar systems and studying atomic and molecular properties of matter. Uh, microwave ovens are in this range. Um, and let's see, the next is infrared. Infrared um, wavelength is 10 to the minus three to the long wavelengths of visible light, which is seven, um, seven nanometers. Um, I'm sorry, 700 nanometers. Um, it's produced by molecules and room temperature objects uh, readily absorbed by most materials. Uh, infrared energy is absorbed by substance. Uh, uh, internal um, infrared energy absorbed by substances, substances appear as internal energy. Um, energy agitates the atoms, uh, the, the, it agitates the object's atoms, uh, increasing their vibrational and translational motion and the kinetic energy. So it, it adds heat. Um, so you get a temperature increase. Uh, practical and scientific applications include physical therapy, uh, infrared photography, and vibrational spectroscopy. You can look at, uh, if you look at a person's hand, um, you, can, you can see the, the, the glow from the heat. Uh, if, you, you can, if you put a hand on a wall and uh, hold it there for a little bit, then remove it and look at it with an infrared camera, you can still see the handprint on the wall, even though visibly you don't see, uh, see anything. So those are, um, those are some uh, applications of infrared. Uh, then we get the visible light, and you really have to look at the expanded uh, version over here. It's the most familiar form of electromagnetic wave. The, it's the part that the human eye can see. Other animals see into different ranges. Um, so the, uh, the light's produced by rearrangement of electrons and uh, atoms and molecules. The wavelengths range, again, from 700 nanometers to 400 nan nanometers. And, um, the sensitivity, uh, sensitivity of the human eye to, uh, is a function of the wavelength. Um, maximum wavelength is 5.5, um, uh, or the maximum sensitivity is at the wavelength 5.5 times 10 to this, uh, 550 nanometers. Um, so, uh, and that would be about, uh, the green, <coughs> oh, excuse me. So here's a table of the, I'm not sure why they didn't put the colors instead of just putting the names there, but eh, so be it. Um, the correspondence between wavelengths of visible light and color, 400 to 430 is violet. So the ultraviolet would be anywhere from 200 to 380 uh, nanometers. And, and then there's even ultraviolet A, ultraviolet B, ultraviolet C, and I don't really know the ranges uh, for those. And then if you go beyond 700 into the, like the uh, 1,000 nanometers, 1050, you're getting into the infrared, infrared ranges. Um, so, and then we get into the ultraviolet, uh, the uh, 400 nanometers to uh, six times 10 to the 10th meters uh, for ultraviolet. Um, the um, the sun is a very important source of ultraviolet light. Uh, a lot of times you can cut that out with just glass. Uh, it <clears throat> blocks a lot, of, a lot of the UV light. Uh, it's the main cause of sunburn. That's why the, your SPF ratings will tell you which, um, how much UV they'll protect you from. Uh, so increasing frequency increases, to, it, it correlates to increasing energy. Um, so, uh, for UV, X-rays, and gamma rays, that's enough energy uh, for radiation to penetrate the skin. Uh, sunscreen lotions, transparent to visible light, but absorb most UV light. Higher sunscreen, solar protection factor, that's the SPF, uh, greater percentage of UV uh, light is absorbed. Um, it, UV is implicated in formation of cataracts, 
uh, clouding of the lens inside the eye. Sunglasses block UV light. Um, most UV light from the sun is absorbed by the ozone molecules in the Earth's upper atmosphere. Uh, ozone shield converts lethal high energy UV radiation to infrared radiation, which in turn warms the stratosphere. <clears throat> okay, x-rays uh, range from 10 to the 8th meters to 10 to the 12th meters. Uh, the, um, uh, the x-rays, if you go, go next time you uh, ask the, um, next time you get an x-ray, you ask the technician what the energy of, he'll probably give it to you in, in kilo electron volts or giga electron volts. That's the measure that they use for, for x-rays. But again, it's a diagnostic tool that goes through soft tissue and will show you dense tissue like uh, bone. Um, x-rays are used for certain uh, forms of cancer. cancer. They, can, they can be damaging and that's why your x-ray technicians will, re they wear a dosimeter which uh, tells them how much uh, how much REM, Rencon, Rencon equivalent man, or how many REMs they've received. Um, so you need to, they need to avoid unnecessary exposure uh, to x-rays. That's why they're usually standing behind a shield when they punch their button for the x-rays. Uh, it's also used in the study of the crystal structure. X-ray x -ray wavelengths are comparable to the atomic separation distances in solids. Um, and then we get to gamma rays. They're emitted, emitted by radioactive nuclei and during certain nuclear reactions. The high energy gamma rays are a component of cosmic rays that enter Earth's atmosphere from space. Their wavelength is from 10 to the 10 meters to less than 10 to the minus 14 meters. Uh, gamma rays are highly penetrating. They produce serious damage when absorbed by living tissue. People working near such dangerous radiation must be protected with heavily absorbing materials. Uh, now your Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi normally works at 2.5 to 5 gigahertz. Uh, so they're in the microwave region. Uh, you can, you know, your Wi-Fi signal is very sensitive to not only orientation, but to, to distance from a Wi-Fi source. <coughs> the intensity falls off as a, Square of the distance from the source. Um, okay, let's uh, let's take a quick quiz. In many kitchens, a microwave oven is used to cook food. The frequency of the microwaves is in the order of ten to the ten hertz. Are the wavelengths of these microwaves on the order of kilometers, meters, centimeters, or mic or micrometers? Um, well, let's let's look at the um, well, I just gave you the answer. Uh, but if you look, let's look at the 10 to the 10 hertz. If you look up here, 10 to the 10, well, that's in the, it's between one, one centimeter and um, 10 centimeters. So it's on the order of centimeters. Um, and now let's look at a radio wave of frequency on the order of 105 hertz. Uh, it's used to carry sound wave with a frequency on the order of 103 hertz. Is the wavelength of this radio wave on the order of kilometers, meters, centimeters, or uh, micrometers? And it's on the order of kilometers. That's a, that's a huge uh, wavelength. For extra credit, using the speed of light uh, at three, 3 times 10 to the uh, 8 meters uh, per second, just hand me in a sheet of paper that says 105 hertz is this long and uh, you can tell me how long a quarter wavelength of that is so give me the the wavelength of 105 hertz and give me how long it is in a quarter wave you just divide the wavelength by four okay and i think um i think that's it